In his speech to a crowd of roughly 700, President Barack Obama addressed the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, pushing his jobs initiative. The president is traveling the country looking for bipartisan support to get it passed by Congress, and he made it abundantly clear why he feels passage is mandatory. People are out of work right now. They need help right now. The president's initial plan failed to pass the Senate that same night, falling short of the 60 votes needed to stop a filibuster. Mr. Obama left the option open that conservative members of Congress may just nix the plan. Speaking about Republicans, he said politics should not be the reason for voting against it. I think they'd have a hard time explaining why they voted no on this bill, other than the fact that I proposed it. <laughs> and so... I, I realize some Republicans in Washington have said that even if they agreed with the ideas in the American Jobs Act, uh, they're wary of passing it because it would give me a win. Give me a win. Th th this is not about giving me a win. It's why folks are fed up with Washington. This is not about giving anybody a win. It's not about giving Democrats or Republicans a win. It's about giving the American people who are hurting out there a win. <laughs> about giving small businesses, entrepreneurs, and construction workers a win. I think the speech was great. I think it's right on point. I think the fact of the matter of what he said is we have a long-term strategy, which is what the Jobs Council um, recommendations are, but then we have an immediate, immediate need of putting people back to work. And the fact of the matter is when we invest in our education, when we invest in our infrastructure, when we invest in people, then our economy will do well. I thought it was marvelous. Anything that would get the economy moving again, and jobs is certainly one of the most important things that we could do to help this, help this economy. African Americans have a higher unemployment rate than many. Secondly, I think the president made a very good point about these jobs could be available now. And thirdly, the alternative to a bad economy is to provide jobs for individuals. Labor Secretary Hilda Solis said now is not the time for politics, but a time to reverse the troubling unemployment numbers, which stand around 9%. No more games, no more politics. It doesn't matter if you're Republican or you're Democrat. It's about putting American families and American workers, men and women, back to work. So let's meet this moment. Let's get to work and show the rest of the world just why it is that America is the greatest country on earth. In Pittsburgh, I'm Brian Cook, AURN.com. American Urban Radio Networks is Urban America's radio 